Welcome everyone, Trek Rain Windows has been officially released to the general public. With this utility, we can jailbreak our iPhone or iPad directly on the Windows computer, no USB flash drive required, no Linux bootable required, this is incredible, we load up a native Windows app and jailbreak. Alright, let's first of all make sure we are supported with Trek Rain Windows, we do this by opening up settings, then find general, and then find about. So Checkrain is a hardware level jailbreak. This means it exploits a vulnerability in the Apple Silicon. This means that under model name, you need to have an iPhone 5S up until iPhone 10 or iPhone X, all models in between are supported as well. If you have any newer device which released after the iPhone X or after the iPhone 10, such as iPhone 10R, 10s etc you will not be supported i will have in the description a list of supported iphones a list of supported ipads and a list of unsupported devices as well so just check that list if you are unsure whether or not you are supported next on the software version check range jailbreak as it uh, uses vulnerability in the apple silicon will eventually support all ios firmwares however at the time of recording only ios 14.8.1 and older are supported in the future this will be changed ios 15 will be supported and of course the newer ios versions as well so if you're watching this video and your software version isn't currently supported uh you know you're on ios 15 or any newer firmware well in the description i will have a list of supported firmwares when checkrain is updated to support ios 15 and all those newer ios firmwares you will see in the description that you are now supported so just follow the same steps in this video to get your device jailbroken all right i'm going to move to my windows computer let's jailbreak with checkrain windows i'm so excited on the windows computer the first step is you want to open up the microsoft store app you want to search up for itunes and if you have the microsoft store version of itunes downloaded you want to make sure it's deleted from your computer then you want to head over to the itunes download link i will have it in the description down below you're going to scroll down like so you see get it from microsoft ignore this download instead you're going to see looking for other versions and you're going to see windows you're going to click on the windows here Scroll down again and you'll see download iTunes for Windows Now 64-bit. You're going to click on the blue right here and you want to download iTunes onto your computer. Once it downloads, make sure you install it as well. The next step is we need to download this software right here. So this software includes Checkrain Windows inside of it. So you want to find version 5.0. It should be the second download. In uh, future dates, version 5 will be version 6, etc. Just find the second download. And you want to click on the download button right here it will redirect you to mega.nz wait for the redirect and then download the file on the mega page once you have downloaded the software right here we need to turn off virus and threat protection the reason why is because check rain jailbreak is falsely flagged by windows as you know a hacking device well i guess check rain is a jailbreak tool it will hack your iphone by installing Sidia, all that good stuff, but we're doing it consensually, it's not like it's doing it without our consent. So what we need to do is we need to turn off the virus and threat protection. We do this by, see right here, the search bar, you wanna search up for threat, and you're gonna see virus and threat protection. Click into this one, and we're going to see here, manage settings, we're gonna click on this one, and we're gonna turn off the real-time protection, and we'll click on yes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the zip file and we just need to extract all of these files. So we'll just click on extract and OK. Now if you don't have WinRAR, which is this software, the process will be slightly different, but it should be quite easy to pull off. Now we have a folder right here. We're going to double click into this folder and we have the software. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an excluded folder access. This means we can have virus and threat protection on. However, we can still use Checkrain at any time and you will need to use Checkrain multiple times. Therefore, it's best that you do this. So open back up the virus and threat protection settings that we opened up earlier. Scroll down until you see exclusions. Add or remove exclusions. You're going to see here, add an exclusion folder and then just add the version 5 here select folder yes and once you've added this exclusion we can now go back and we can turn back on our real-time protection 
All right, so now let's load up the software here. So let's give it a couple of seconds. You can see it's loaded up. We'll click on yes, and it should reload. And now we'll click on jailbreak. And it says error, please install iTunes from Apple web. So I think the reason why it's saying that is because I installed iTunes, but after I installed iTunes, I didn't restart my computer. So I'm going to restart my computer and then I'm going to reload this app. All right, I've now reloaded the app. We'll just click on jailbreak again. Yes. Then we'll click on jailbreak one more time. And hopefully we see the good stuff. There it is. Here is check crane on Windows. So it says, please unlock the device and press trust. So get your iPhone, make sure you connect it to the computer like I have done right here. And then you want to go to the home screen. If you see a trust message, you're going to tap on trust. And if it's asking you to enter in your passcode, enter in a the passcode. Then just place your iPhone down here and we'll click on OK for this message. It says detected missing driver. So you see, we also have this other error. So let's install this driver. So we'll click on yes to install it. And now it's going to install any missing drivers on your computer. So that's the reason why I'm getting this other error here. It uh, would be nice if, you know, that error showed up and then, you know, then that error, but, you know, whatever. We'll just wait for this driver to install onto my computer. The driver wants us to restart our computer, so let's restart and then reload the app. Okay, let's try this again. So we'll click on yes for this message. And we'll click on jailbreak right here. And this time, okay, that was a problem connecting to your device. Please click jailbreak detected missing driver. So it seems like there are multiple missing drivers. I'm just going to install all of the missing drivers from my computer until the CheckRent app is actually working without fail. All right, so what I did is after that driver installed, I clicked on jailbreak again, and then I went into options, and then there was repair driver option. I clicked on that, and there it is iPhone 7 connected in normal mode. So it's very glitchy. However, it will work eventually. Just install all the missing drivers, then click on jailbreak until you see the uh, iRemover rain. And once you see the iRemover rain, click on options, repair driver, and your device should now be recognized. All right, so what we need to do is we need to click on this, allow untested versions. And if you have iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus or iPhone 10, and you're watching this jailbreak tutorial, you need to turn on Skip A11 BPR check. This is important because the BPR check has to be turned off, which means, unfortunately, if you have iPhone 8, 8 Plus or iPhone 10, when you jailbreak, you have to remove the passcode off of your device and you cannot have a passcode on your iPhone while you are jailbroken. If you unjailbreak, you can always enable the passcode, Face ID again, However, that is just something to keep in mind. If that's a deal breaker, it is what it is. Uh, that's how check rain works. On all other devices, you do not need to worry about that. I reconnected my device. It gives me a you know an error problem, but you can see my device is connected in normal mode. So we'll just click on start and next. So you can see on the iPhone itself, it's now going to enter into recovery mode. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds for it to do its thing. So this is the recovery mode. And now we need to enter DFU mode. So you can see right here, the instructions are on screen. The instructions for you will be different than they are for me. So just follow the on-screen instructions. So let's click on start. And we'll just do the instructions here. I'm in DFU mode right now. So let's see whether or not it's gonna jailbreak. There you go. It's, it's jailbreaking. Okay, so it's been stuck on exploiting device for about a minute now. So I'm assuming that the, uh, the jailbreak failed. So what we're going to do is in order to, you know, fix stuff. First of all, we need to force restart our iPhone. So if you have iPhone 8, 8 Plus or iPhone 10, you quickly uh, click volume up, then quickly click volume down, then hold the power button until you see the Apple logo, then release. On iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you hold power and volume down together until you see the Apple logo. Uh, on any other iPhone, you hold down power and the home button together until you see the Apple logo. So we're going to restart the computer. We're going to restart the iPhone and then we're going to do this again. Let's see how things go. All right, let's try this again. It looks good. This looks good. Okay, so it hasn't frozen. All right, let's see. 
Okay, it seems like it has uh, frozen. So remember, if the jailbreak freezes, I've covered the steps you need to take early on in the video. There are timestamps, just check the part which says fix frozen jailbreak. Oh, I was not expecting this. So I got the error, which it was like stuck on like, I don't even know what that error was, but it was stuck. And now it's, now it's jailbreaking. Now it is jailbreaking. Oh my God, let's go. I'm so happy right now. There it is. And once you see it all done, we know some error. We don't care about the error. We're now jailbroken. So ignore those dumb errors. You're now done with check crane. So if we go to the device itself, Let's unlock and I already have Cydia because I've done this before, but give it a couple of seconds and the Check Rain app should show up on the home screen. There it is, Check Rain. So let's open it up. If you are jailbreaking for the first time, you want to tap on Cydia and then install Cydia and it will install Cydia onto your device. And once it's installed, let's open it up and here it is. Here is good old Cydia. So you can see right here, iPhone 7, iOS 14.6 successfully jailbroken with check crane. Now here's the deal, every time you restart your device, Cydia will crash on launch and your tweaks will be disabled. So jailbreak tweaks, stuff you download from Cydia. So in order to enable them again, you have to connect your device back to the computer, open up check crane and re jailbreak. That is why, uh, you know, I showed those earlier steps excluding that folder from checks from the Windows operating system. So you can load up check crane at any time and jailbreak without any issues. It's right now a bit glitchy check crane windows, but it does work. You saw it took a bunch of attempts. In the end, I'm jailbroken. That's all that matters. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.